Hi YouTube and welcome to Vlog 84. I want to start out this episode by giving a big shout out to Philip Smith. Hi Philip. So much Philip. So much Smith. Where are you at baby? We gotta get this vlog started. Is that a snake in your pants or are you happy to see me? Really? Well, it's a snake. Damn. Anyway, moving on. Check out these spiders, people. It makes me feel like... <laughs> I want to give you all some updates today. Sarah's new best friend used to be me. What do we got? Oh, we do... Uh-oh. Warning. Warning. Live feeding. Don't try this at home, kids. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, yes. I'm also going to give an update on the Chromata Poma. Sanio pubenzens, a.k.a. the green bottle blue, tarantula that was stuck in malt. He was indeed stuck in malt, and now they are... Actually, I have two malts, and everything is in pre-malt. I'm getting malts like crazy, like so many malts. But they're not really big enough for me to sex yet. So, I have to see what is going on. Sarah's always feeding ball pythons, so I'm trying to catch some of them on film. Or edit. This is number one. It was stuck in pre molt. snake's doing. Look at this tarantula people. It is out and about and absolutely fantastical. And that snake is not hungry so we just leave him for I can deal with these tarantulas for a second. These people. If he's hungry he will show it. Alright people, I'm sorry. Bear with me. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. I know this shaky camera bothers people. Did I forget to check out uh, Philip Smith or what? Um, no, I did show that Philip. Y'all check out Philip Smith, people. Awesome dude. Let me get in there and do this real quick. Wow. I absolutely love a white roach. Them are my favorite ones. They are not albino. These are rusty reds, by the way. They are actually oh my god where'd shed. you get those albinos oh shit i dropped it i dropped it okay oh. hold on people all right i caught it back watch this now oh oh well that was not very interesting i dropped it and it fell right right in the fangs that's crazy well i mean it was interesting but I missed it, or maybe you didn't miss it. I don't know. I missed it. Didn't really get to see what happened. I'm trying to zoom in on this a little bit more. That is awesome. That's going to be an awesome meal for this uh, beautiful hope to be girl. Green bottle, be blue, 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 and blue. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now I've waited on you fine people, ladies and gents, to share this magic moment with you. Yay! Oh! Check it out, people. And the two different said, green bottle blues, two different Black personalities. Said they would like to see me in hills <laughs> and a snake around my neck. Are you serious? Uh, I believe they were, darling. You know you look good in snakes and hills. That's for me, people. That's only for Edward. Yep, I get snakes and hills every night. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this, people. Watch, watch very carefully. I am going to gently rip apart this web. Go in for the kill. Boom. And take out that lovely little malt. Then, 
I'm going to set it over here for temporary. And I'll end up packing it in a dram like so to be sent back. Oh, y'all got to send me back my drams with baby teas. <laughs> that will be going to my other uh, breeding project that I have. I got other babies on the way. But I'll show you all this real quick and you can see the difference. No one wants to know about our other breeding project. I got stuff going on all over the place, people. Yes, they do. Boom. Well, I've got a rusty red over there. And there we go. I'm going to try to aggravate this real quick. No one wants to know about our rattlesnake project that we got in Louisiana. Oops, my fault. I got a rattlesnake breeding project here too. I haven't started it yet though. But I don't really sell many rattlesnakes, so you uh, Unless they're really extremely awesome, unique specimens. Most of them will. Uh, when I kept a breed, go to Venom Research Facilitas. Because Venom Research Facilitas are important. And this thing, I don't know if it's going to eat this or not. Hey. But anyway, there's two in the green bubble, blue. And then I finally came up with names for two tarantula females. And I know you're going to be excited to see that. No. Uh oh, uh oh, we're missing stuff over here. Oh. Oh, about knocked that whole thing off on the floor. Good that would have sucked. Look at this. Look, people. What is this we have here eating something from the back first? Zena. Zena. From Zena and Zero. On YouTube, check them out too while we're at it. This is an awesome way to collaborate with people. I was gonna name my tarantulas after movie stars at first, and then I got thinking and talking with Sarah, and we just decided why would I do that? Movie stars aren't backing up badass MVP crew Edward T. No, they're not. Well, a few of them are, but they're neither here or there, busy with their own lives couple friends of mine but from afar but mostly the people who back me up and bring me great pleasure reading their awesome comments oh, yeah. are my fans so and my fans we mean one of the leopard geckos yes so my fans are raptor yes we'll get to that or you can get to it now we decided to name one of our male leopard geckos pet Yep, from my other brother, from another mother. Yep, we won't be giving any last names on here though. To protect his identity, but you know who you are, brother Pat. My brother Pat. While you're at it, what rhymes with Pat? A rat. Unfortunately, these are mice. Mice. I said mice. <laughs> Yeah, y'all can check out some of the cool color of mice morphs that I make while I'm setting up the next scene for you guys and gals. Are you seriously going to chow down on that? Um, you might as well no. shake that while you're at it. I've got to grab this other um, tarantula. Because I want to do a detailed viewing of who is who, what is what, when is when. I had that there for a reason. Showing people something. Okay. You got that. So, before it gets too out of hand. All right, people. Here is a phone of Pelma, Simani, number one, and Ryan Luke. And it's a female Costa Rican zebra, wild caught, but it has been in captivity now for about two and a half to three years. I've had it over a year. And here we go. This is the one and only Aunt Ryan Luke. I don't know if it's hungry or not. We will see. Whoop. I don't know where my tweezers are. Oh, no. No. 
most of the time this one likes to throw up some threat buster and stuff not tonight and the reason for that is it is in deep pre-malt I do believe yes deep pre-malt but look at that people look at that I tried to give her some love if I can it would be take me baby by the hand so much love from a aunt like Ryan Luke whoa 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 let's shake on it baby yes oh give me five huh. all right here all right next here is Pat after my brother from another mother this is a raptor a six gene enema for each letter in the word raptor stands for a genetic morph I do believe Mm -hmm. That's you would say it. And you cross this with a blazing blizzard and you get a Diablo Blanco. Which is an all white lizard with a red eye. And I'm working on breeding that with a snake eyed blazing blizzard. So we will have snake eyed Diablo Blanco. Are you serious? And that is Aunt Ryan Luke. Y'all leave in the comments below what you think about Aunt Ryan Luke. Can y'all guess who the other one is? Also, in a Fauna Pelma. See money number three. We decided to name these based on the personalities of the individual tarantulas in question, based on the comments that I read from my YouTube family. This is absolutely, I need some merches. Absolutely BEA beautiful. Look what she's done with her enclosure these leaves are on the floor they like to reorganize their own stuff this is our Pona Pelma Simani number three the Costa Rican zebra also wild caught long-term captive and her name is Christy Hurt Christy Hurt hey I like that female symbol uh-huh mm -hmm. that's some that was some good doings there let's see if Christy Hurt is hungry sorry y'all don't always get to see feedings that will be a yes. Yes. That would be a yes. I was fixing to say no, but it is a yes. She took that right smooth down. Smooth down. That's our Christy baby right there. Rusty Red. What else did I want to show? I got something else to show. Oh, yeah. Everything's in pre-mold, people. See what we got going over here. Whoa. Whoops. That poor little mouse didn't have a chance in cold hell. <laughs> That's Jabba the Hutt. His biological clock inside is telling him it's still winter, but soon he'll be coming out and he'll be eating like a machine. Like a machine. Like a Terminator 2 machine. Or the younger Arnold version, the Terminator 1. He's that badass. Yes, he is. And he just keeps coming back for more. Should have named him the tournament. Everybody named him Jabba the Hutt after. Well, I'm not going to say who it's after. If y'all don't know who Jabba the Hutt is, I better do some research on that right now. Still haven't decided what is going in this absolutely awesome, amazing, badass MVP coup enclosure. I just have not decided yet. But this video is getting so super, super duper long. So we're going to have to cut it short. I love all my YouTube family and friends. I thank you all for your continued support. I am going to show you all an update of the Monocentropus Balfouri communal that I have going. Hoping everything is going well. I love showing off my tarantulas because they're absolutely wonderful creatures and they deserve much attention. I don't know if I'll be able to get a view of an actual tarantula or not. Yeah, I can see one in there. I don't know if y'all can see one in there. I don't like what that does with the, what that light does with this camera. But I see one in there. There's a total of two. There's a total of two. Um, that's the LED light. It has issues with picking up on camera for whatever reason it causes interference. 
I apologize for that, people. Whoa! And we, my friends, have a shed. Yes, we do. From Sweetheart. Look at Sweetheart. Ain't that a beautiful big baby boy? Awesome. Ball python. Yes, you were. You were so... Oh, be still. Put him down lower so I can see. Look at the iridescent, people. So much. He's glowing. He's like... Oh my God, baby, let me love you now. Because there's just so many ways to love you. Yes, there is. Check out this shed, people. Look at this. Look at this. We can blow this thing up a little bit. Nope. Yes. Or he's probably messed it up by now. He messed it. Oh no, he tore up the shed. He tore it. That is so, he so sad. I like blowing these up like a little balloon because... He normally oh, does really man. good, but not this time. Yep, he has wrecked his shed, which is fine. That one is Ow. garbage, but absolutely, absolutely, positively. Love that sheen. That beautiful, beautiful shine. Check it out. He's happy. You gotta love the normals. He's happy. You're quite loving the normals, and you don't really love ball pythons. He's happy. He's got his mom. Okay, let me see what else we got going here. I've got to keep y'all constantly updated on these tarantulas for all my tarantula fans. And my fans that are not tarantula fans, please convert over and continue your love for the animal kingdom by putting a little bit of invert love in your life because tarantulas are people too. And they need loving. Well, not people per se, but... Tarantulas sometimes outlive humans. Year for year. Give me that, please. Year for year. So, here is the Goody Sapphire Ornamental. You don't get to see him very much. I'm pretty sure about 98% that it is a him. But there it is. In all its glory. One of the rarest tarantulas on the entire planet Earth. The Pocilotheria metallica. Here is the Pocilotheria rufolata. Also known as the red slate ornamental, for those of you who do not know. Look at how hairy that thing is. It's like, oh my god. So much awesome. It's like a little living crawling tree creature with pipe cleaner legs. You gotta love that, people. You just got to love it. And for those of you who were concerned with my Neo Holatele NC Gold Communal, one, two, I'm gonna show y'all the webbing as it goes without too much light problems. And three, we're getting some actual web action right here. Let's try to zoom in on that for you guys. And then we're going to cut it. So, as always, my friends, peace, love, happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, because I've got to reach out and touch more people. More people need this kind of things in their life. Really. I hear some people tell me, almost instantly after watching one of my vlogs, their quality of life has improved. I and love reptiles. We love, I love everything really. Oh, the camera stopped on something else I love. Palp Friction. Right there. Y'all check them out too for all of your tarantula needs. They are also badass MVP and coup. Super duper service. Quality customer care. 100% arrival a guarantee. Check that out. There's my Nandu Colorado Velocis. Alright people. Edward Tyndall and Sarah Tyndall, out for now.